Hi, today I wanted to show you a little bit about what our Canvas site looks like. So what I'm going to show you is where you can find stuff when I say, hey, you can look at those worksheets or where did these scores come from? So this is our Canvas site. Um, to get here, you would have clicked on the button on your dashboard. So you can see that the recent announcements are right up here at the top. Um, you should read these. They'll post every Friday. You probably found this video in the announcement. So as you scroll down, you can find, here's my information. This is my office building. Probably don't need to go there. But here's my email address. Anytime you need me, you can click that. If you want to come to my office hours, you can click this button right here. Um, it is the same link every time, so it will always be the same. We will look at my YouTube channel in just a second so that you guys can kind of see what else you can find on my YouTube channel instead of just videos. Delivery of instruction videos post, we have a YouTube Live, this time is incorrect, so we'll look at that. A bunch of things in here are incorrect. I'll fix those after this post. Here are the important dates, your exams, your final, and your mini exam. You have to be available on these dates. The tune-up course, more information coming later. You have to have Alex, all of you do, so that's great. So this is just kind of a landing place for what might I need. Over here is your to-do. When we have exams, the mini exam link, the right now, if we click on this, it says nothing. And that's okay. The mini exam will post into that at a later date. So you can go to the announcement page, see all of our announcements. Um, the homepage is here as well. So what else can we see? If you go to your grades, so the test student doesn't have any grades. Um, this little sign right here says that the grades are hidden. I will post grades as soon as they're available. Other exciting information. Right here, it gives you a U. Um, you may see an S on yours, so satisfactory and unsatisfactory. Until after midterm grades are posted, which is about when exam two is done, you'll either see a satisfactory or an unsatisfactory. Basically, are you currently passing? After that, it'll switch to letter grades. So let's look at the modules page because there's a lot of good stuff hidden in here. So here are some FAQs. Here's your syllabus. This is the schedule. So if we look at that, what you'll see is each week. So our course is broken up into weeks. Um, I have a printout of this that sits on my desk so I know what's happening. So the way I organize this, here are the videos you need to watch every week. So by now you should have watched all of the chapter one and all of the chapter two, as well as this naming. There are four videos for next week. And so this tells you what our live sessions are. Um, so we have them on Wednesdays, except for exam weeks when they're also on, or when they're on Mondays instead. If there's a graded assignment during that week, this is where you would find that information. So what videos are for this chapter? If you pop into this, all of the YouTube links are here for any of the weeks. They're organized by weeks so that you can kind of follow along. So feel free to take a look at that if you get lost and you lost the announcement. Other information you might need. Here's how you can find Alex. You can click this button, it will take you into it. Next, lecture slides. So in this case, here are the slides. If you've watched the videos, you'll notice that I write on a template. This is that template. So what you can see is they're organized. They should look somewhat similar. There are slides in all of these, and I write on these. My suggestion would be to print these out, organize them in some way so that you can look at those at the same time. Here are the playlists for the YouTube videos that accompany that. We'll get to the YouTube in a second. Here are the worksheets from the lives. Um, and so you can look at that in here. I suggest at any point when you come to this page that you hit collapse all. So one, there are a lot of different modules in here. More modules will show up as the semester comes along. But the other thing is, as we start to add more chapter handouts or the lecture slides or videos, each of these different buckets is gonna get longer. So let's look at some handouts. You're probably going to want a periodic table printout. I suggest either one of these, one has names, one doesn't. 
The common ion table I mentioned in the live is right here. If you click on that, you are responsible for knowing all of these. Um, these are the common ions we're going to talk about. The homework system has a slightly different table. This is the one you need to look at. Here's an equation sheet. So more handouts will show up in here as we go along. Now, down here at the bottom part are some other helpful information. So in here are some worksheets. So these are practice. You're never going to turn them in. You can just look at them if you'd like. I will post the keys no later than 48 hours before the exam. So if you look into this, these are what I would consider helpful problems, just more practice. So you can look at all of these. You can come to my office hours if you're like, I don't know how to get there. So in that case, that's this video, or that's what these are. The next one is the chapter two. So you can see all of the worksheets for exam one. The keys will post closer to exam one. Otherwise, I find that students just don't. They only look at the keys. They don't ever attempt it. These are practice so that on the exam, you'll be able to do that. So end of chapter problems. These are in the back of the textbook. So if you have a copy of the textbook or you have a digital copy, you can flip at the end of every chapter and there are these are the problems. They correspond with that. Some are available in the back of the book, but definitely not all. So all 10 of those are already posted. These YouTube videos are slightly different. So if we go to chapter one, here are a series of different problems that are just other examples different than the lecture videos. And you can see that for all of the chapters. So let's go look at my YouTube channel. So we got to change that. So this is the YouTube channel. This is the home screen when you come here. So there are a couple of different things you can find. You can go to the home page. It will show you anything that's new. So you can see that here's our first day of class. Here's our live problem solving session. Good. So you can go to the video screen. Personally, I find this to be slightly overwhelming because then you've got to sort around, figure out what you're looking for. I'm a big fan of the playlists. So let's go to any of the playlists. So clearly this is my version because you can see that I have some unlisted things from other courses. So let's look at our chapter one playlist. In here, we do not actually want to watch that. You can pull up the playlist here. So you can see the three videos that you should have looked at, units of measurement, uncertainty of measurement, dimensional analysis. You can then see that there are four example problems. Those example problems are just me working more examples. So if you're studying, you're like, you know, I don't actually know what to do in this case. So you can look at that information. Let's go back here. Make that go away. Let's look at another playlist. Let's look at chapter, let's look at chapter three. We'll hit view playlist because that'll be easier. So you can see that in chapter three, there are one, two, three, four, five, six different videos. It turns out that this upcoming week, you're gonna watch these four and the following week will be those. Down here at the bottom, there are more examples. They're all a little different. Um, they're a slightly different technology they're a little older, to be honest. But you could look at, okay, I don't know what the empirical formula is. I don't know how to do a limiting reactant. And so you can go in that way. And here are all of these. So the other thing you guys might be curious about is, well, how do we actually get to a live session if I miss it? So it will show up on the uploads here. You can also find them on the spring 2020 chem 2045 lectures. So in here, is not the live session because I forgot to put it in there. But it will come in here probably this, like before you see this video, it'll have updated. So all of the live sessions, if I do an exam review, it will be here. So this is kind of a look around our different courses. And so we can see here on our homepage, this is what you need to know. If you can't find anything, let me know. 
more stuff will show up on the modules page soon.